Okay, this is the current state of my model ships. The RMS Queen Mary. I've got the outer hull plates all put together except for the stern and the inside because there's a lot of stuff I have to put together before putting it in there. And then I'll glue the stern together because it actually sits a lot wider than it is right now just because it's sitting on the keel by itself. And this is the... Well, I'm pretty sure you recognize it, but for those who don't, it's the RMS Edmund, uh, sorry, uh, SS Edmund Fitzgerald. I might be a little bit too close there, it's blurry. There we go. It's the SS Edmund Fitzgerald. This one here is also not finished, but it's closer to being finished than the Queen Mary. Both the Queen Mary and the Fitzgerald are paper model kits. You can find them on eBay for starting model, for modelers, mo people who do models who are just starting. I recommend it, but not if you have a problem with very detailed parts. While the Fitzgerald is easy to build because it's a bulk carrier, the Queen Mary has a lot of parts and I do not recommend it for a beginner because it's... If it was equal to a plastic model, it would be skill 3. Because there's a lot that goes into it. And last but certainly not least, my plastic model of my RMS Titanic. There's a little bit of a tape on the, uh, set on the stern mast. I'll explain that in a minute. But first, I'd like to show off all the hard work and a nice paint job and the paint is thanks to my mother she painted all the red and yellow for me and the white the hall was already black um, I'm just gonna come over the top here I'm sorry about the swearing I'm watching something on YouTube on Tubi right now and it's uh, not really for you know, kids, but yeah, I'm trying my best to avoid parts of it. See the water line mark, Titanic, yellow line, up on the bridge, the crow's nest from that fatal night in April 15th, 1912, when they saw that iceberg, the anchor crane. The luggage crane, the four luggage cranes in the four wheel deck, the lifeboats, the cover for the wrought iron glass dome that was over the grand staircase, funnel number one, two, three, and four. For those of you that don't know, funnel number four here was actually a dummy when it comes to the boilers. It didn't feed the boilers directly. But what it did do is it provided a vent stack for the kitchen and one other thing that I can't really think of right now. All right, back to my tour here. You can see there's the, the second grand staircase in the back. Now, on the real ship, on the wreck, this is this area is gone completely. There's This area disintegrated as a ship went under, broke in two, and it, the stern spun around and as it was sinking and basically this area between funnel three and four was completely ripped apart. There was a huge chunk of debris in between the two areas and that's what this is. In between the two parts of the wreck, I mean, that's what this is, this area here. And this grand staircase was actually not that much different than the main one. I didn't have as much luxury, but it was only a little bit. No, there is the promenade deck, lower promenade, the rear well deck, and you know the different class sections. And there is the rear controls for the rudder and propellers because the ship was so big that when it backed in it needed a rear 
like you know wheel and controls so when they were docking backwards they control it from the back here that was the rear bridge and there is a wheel and controls on that the white star line flag the triple screw notice sign triple screws the rudder the other one's on the other side too there is another one that will be built it's already been ordered it's on its way and that one will be the RMS Olympic which will take this one's place this one here will go right behind it a little bit higher and when I build Britannic it'll be on top of that so it'll be Olympic Titanic this one here and Britannic anyway that is the video for tonight I am sorry there hasn't been off-road videos on YouTube for a while but I was bored I'm up late and I just felt like doing something so I figured I'd make this video on the ship models that I have been building just to give you guys a little bit of a content and just to show you that I haven't gone away I will be back on YouTube soon just been things are hard to film lately that's all anyway if you like this video please like subscribe comment tell your friends and please come back for more because there will be good night and see you soon